when an employee is leaving your company, you may want to transfer their data over to a dedicated archiving account or admin account. To do that, you had to head over to users, locate the user account that you want to delete, and there are different ways. So you can hover over the account, click on more on the right hand side, and then you can delete user. Or you can check the box, then click on more at the top, and then delete user, delete selected users. Or you can click on the account. You're going to get to the user's details page, and then you'll find delete user on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and click delete user. This is going to ask you if you want to transfer the data over, and then you have to specify the recipient's account. In our case, we're going to type in the admin account, so it's Roger. And you can delete the user. This will take some time, and you're, get a, you're going to get an email notification once this is completed. One thing you have to keep in mind is that this action does not transfer email. So if you're planning on keeping their email data, you first have to do an email migration. You have to keep in mind some prerequisites before starting an email migration. And it's that you have to have IMAP enabled on the source account. If you're using a plain password, uh, you have to enable less secure apps. If you have two-factor authentication, then you have to create an application-specific password. We're going to take a look at the uh, data migration for that. This is going to take you to the configure your source connection settings. So you have to specify what's the migration source. In this case, it's just Google Workspace. And you hit start. Now you can choose the amount of time that you want to transfer the data from one account to the other. Um, if you have uh, more than one year, then you can select the custom date. And in this case, we're going to select just one year. And you can choose whether you want to migrate deleted emails and spam. And then you can select users. Once you hit select users, this is going to take you to the data migration page. You can do a bulk upload with a CSV file if you have more than one user account to migrate. So you can click on that. This is going to give you the right format for the CSV file. And as soon as you have edited the file in your uh, computer, you can upload it. So you can attach the file and then hit upload. So we are going to do a single email migration for this demo. And the source account, which is Mary. Enter the password. All right, and then we choose the destination account. And hit start. So if we have done this right, we're going to start seeing that it is calculating the mailbox size. And as soon as you have that running, then if you need to pause it, you can go to more and then pause all migrations, or you can select the uh, migration. So once this is running, if there's any need, you can actually pause all migrations. In this case, it's only one. If you have multiple, you can select you can select one and then only pause that single migration. So our recommendation is to first migrate the email data and then you can proceed to delete the account and then transfer the uh, drive and docs, calendars, and the rest of data over. So once that's completed, you're going to receive a notification email letting you know that the uh, process is completed and the user has been deleted. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.